Well, welcome to my first tutorial on HTML. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save your file in Dreamweaver and Notepad as an HTML file. And also, I'm going to um, explain to you what the HTML skeleton is all about. Um, so if, if you know this stuff, you probably shouldn't be watching this video. Anyways, so uh, some of you may have Dreamweaver and some of you may not. And of course, Dreamweaver provides a very easy way because it is a software that is used for the HTML language. Therefore, it is all as default the um, HTML settings and everything. So you can just go to File and click Save As to save your file as HTML. Just just type in any name of your choice and and press Save. So you can see the Save Save As type is HTML, HTML, and everything else. Therefore, it is very simple. <clears throat> now, if if you want to do it in notepad then it's different you, you have to go to file save as and make sure the save as type is all files in the all files you can just just say, say a file name like hello and make sure you add the dot html or htm whichever it does not matter to the end of your name so it, it saves an, as an html file now what is the advantage of that well let's save and let's see when you save as an html file you can see here that when you double click on it it will automatically open up in your default web browser here it is i have not wrote nothing and therefore it, it shows up nothing in my web browser now if you're if you're wondering how can you open it back with notepad well that's easy just right click on it and go to the open with menu and click notepad now if you were using dreamweaver you can do the same and if it and if the item is not listed here you can say choose a program and from the list that will be displayed here you can you can see different programs and you can add such as dreamweaver mx and other programs that you may be wanting to use for your html file so this is very easy and simple so so what is the html skeleton if you have dreamweaver you will always start with the, with an html skeleton automatically now i'm going to show you the basic html skeleton that you need for a beginner user i'm going to use notepad to show you this since since this will help you understand each part the every html documents start with an html tag or the html skeleton tag in this case a tag is basically this the the word the or the letters that are written between these two brackets here or the less than and greater than sign well in well whenever you want to close a tag you i mean you must close the tag most of the time because you because you want to let the computer or the web browser know that you know this is the end of this specific um tag you, you'll understand this as you get more advanced if, any, anytime you want to close a tag all you need to do just put a slash and the same HTML, it's the same tag that you've written to open the tag so a slash and then html so this will this will simply close our html file now understand this that this will not be displayed in the web browser anything between these two to less than and greater than sign will not be displayed in the web browser because these are tags these are what you're telling the web browser to function as well we we have started an html file and we have closed it now i think it would be obvious that everything would be between these two tags since our h since we are writing an html file i should be clear that html is is the language for for web design in fact, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So, now, the, of course, the HTML skeleton continues. There is the head. So, let's open a head and close a head. What goes in between? Well, in between, many things go. Just for a beginner user like you, you want to know one thing, the title element. Now again, the head is not displayed, but anything between the head will be either displayed or will be or will be an information for the web browser. So let me show you what the title element is. If I refer, if I say an element, basically that that just means a tag too. So the title element is like this. This is our opening. Now of course, 
I'm going to let you think how would you be able to close this this title tag or element well hopefully you can you can figure this out by now by putting a slash before it very simple <clears throat> so be between the title element you can put some text a text of your choice I'm just going to say my first web page simple so what does the title element exactly uh, show in the web browser well let's let's take a look for ourselves I'm going to save this and I'm going to go back to my documents and open this file up with my web browser now of course nothing is displayed but the, I told you the title element it will be displayed in the web browser and it is displayed it is displayed right up here so you say I said my first web page and it is displayed right up here this is what the title element is this is the title of your web page and, and this will be uh, this will be always displayed on the very very top of your page on the on the um, I guess you could say the the close menu so that's that let's leave this open okay let's go back here for for right now between the head element you want to know these now if you are using macromedia dreamweaver and you see this this um part just don't worry about that just leave it there it it will not affect you it is just some information for the web browser an extra information for the web browser which you will be which you will understand in an advanced web design tutorial let's go back to the notepad and well there the, i think there will there is only one more um section into this the body well the body think about it every think about the body basically the body literally it means your physical um physical description so anything between the body will show so here's for example i'm going to say welcome to my very very first website uh -uh. now if any text you type will appear as it is it will appear as the default font in the web browser but if you press enter it will not go to the next line let's look at let, let me show you this thank you for visiting now welcome to my first my very first website and thank you for visiting will show in in the web browser however it will not be under each other like like this is here they will it will not be on the next line let's look i'm going to save this and i'm going to go back here and just refresh the page look it says welcome to my first website thank you for visiting so just be careful it will not go to the next line if you press space anywhere it will take the space so you could i suppose press space but i, I would not think that it will go to the next line uh -uh. so this is base this is the basic html skeleton simple at least i think it's very simple and it should be very simple for you just remember that every tag is open with with the html and closed with the slash everything goes between the html because it is in the html format if you put anything after the html closing tag well it is simply not part of your html web design and then it'll be useless because why are you putting the html tag if you are not going to put anything between it anyways so this is the basic html skeleton i hope you enjoy thank you for watching